Welcome to Ilocos Norte. So right behind me is one of the Baroque churches in the Philippines and it's called Pauay Church. Well, locally known as Pauay Church, but in fact its official name is San Agustin Church. Which is in fact the same, uh, it shares the same name of another Baroque church in the Philippines, which is in San Agustin Church in Manila, right inside in Campo. I'm now back here in Curimao. Just across this bay of Corimao, there's actually this ruins, the church ruins here. All right, so just short walking distance from the town plaza of Badok town uh, is uh, this one, this Juan Luna Shrine or Dambana Juan Luna. And uh, yeah, this shrine is actually dedicated to these uh, two guys, these brothers. In fact, Juan Luna, the one on the left, and the one on the right side, that's uh, Antonio, uh, Antonio Luna. That's really spectacular beach, as you have seen. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's head back the road again. All right, let's go there. By the way, this is the town plaza of Badok, municipality of Badok here in Ilocos Norte, and that's their uh, municipal hall right there. And again, that's a church, their uh, town church here, the Basilica Minore de San Juan Bautista and their public plaza. All right, so let's explore this. And actually, um, it's one o'clock, 1.30 in the afternoon, midday, hot. Uh, I'm hungry already, I'm starving. So let me now find my lunch here. Hopefully, uh, I, I can get my lunch here. Yeah, I need to, because I'm really hungry now. All right, so that's a Badok Municipal Hall. Cute little municipal hall here, <laughs> so cute with a Philippine flag. So proud to see that color of Philippine flag. Okay, so it's called Luna Park. And there's in fact a, a museum here called uh, Museum of Juan Luna, yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I bet we can find it here. It's just around here. But first, let me just uh, find my, my lunch here. I'm really starving, yeah. So let's try to explore that part right there, so probably I can get my uh, lunch and this is the famous uh, empanada yeah hopefully so let's uh stroll a little bit if we can have my lunch here all right so I, I left the motorcycle there and across that one there's a food place i think this is where i can uh, get my lunch here uh, ate, ano po ito? uh anyhow sir Ah, anong tawag sa Ilocano? Tuno, 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 tuno. Okay. <laughs> Looks good. All right, so I think this is what I've got. This one adobo. Yeah. Uh, ito na lang po, please. Okay. Yeah. And one dalawang other. rice, yes. And they also have these vegetable options here. I think it's called pinakbet, so if I'm not mistaken. The saluyo. Dineng deng. Alin ang dineng deng? This one, okay. You want the dineng deng, sir? Uh. Mm. Ito na lang po. Okay. Please. At saka ito. Okay, Thank you. Yes, for dining, dalawang rice. All right, just ignore my hair. It's all over. Uh, it's, it's everywhere. But anyway, okay, my food is here. My food has arrived. Look at this. I'm so excited to try this because I'm so starving. I'm hungry already. Um, so it's a grilled pork and uh, they put some like tomato. Yeah, and, and other dressing. It looks so tempting. I actually, it smells so good. And the uh, pinak bet. Oh, wow. Perfect combination, right? And of course, my rice. And actually, Ate is getting me a Coca Cola. Cold Coca Cola. I really need that because it's so hot right now. It's midday. Midday Saturday. Uh, malamig po. It's okay, it's okay. Okay na yan. No need ice. Yeah. I really picked the right food. It's very delicious, very tasty, a versatile flavor. This pork right here, this is our pork dish, and uh, the, the vegetables. Yeah, I love this one. Again, just right here, I don't know what's the name. What's the name of Nora's Eatery. Nora's Eatery. Yeah, Nora's Eatery, guys. All right, if, um, if you happen to come here in Bado, like lunchtime, yeah, better come here. It's uh, Nora's uh, Eatery, right here, it's just right across the town plaza of Bado Town. Delicious uh, options to have here, guys. Like one of these. Okay, itadakimas. Continuamos.
es que tengo mucho hambre eh, y es el mediodía del día del sábado y después de aquí voy a voy al museo que según de cuya es muy cerca desde aquí solo one uh, how many meters from here uh, the one not more, not more than 100 yeah, casi 100 metros desde aquí puedo caminar y voy a dejar mi moto motociclo allá continuamos that was so satisfying lunch i have here at nora's eatery but actually according to the owners hello hello kuya ah uh, no no name kuya ole harrell lovar and at uh, nora? nora yeah so yeah they own this place actually just a fun fact it used to be called the siete tres again siete tres that's spanish uh seven three that means to say okay mm -hmm. so siete tres because all right i'll explain to you why so they call uh they used to call this a siete tres Siete is the price, or seven pesos is the price, used to be the price of the, of the, like for example, like this, like that, or the pancit, you know, the common uh, <coughs> fare, the Filipino fare or Ilocano fare, it costs uh, only seven pesos. And then the three pesos there is a cup of rice. So that's why it's called the seven three or siete tres, FYI. But now it's not, it's now called as a Nora's Eatery, right here, again, just right across the plaza, the town plaza of uh, Badok. The town of Badok right here in Ilocos, Ilocos Norte, the Philippines. All right, let's uh, hit the road again. Uh, others are so uh, welcoming, they are so friendly. Hello, po. thank you so much. Huh? Masarap eh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go. Bye-bye, te. Bye-bye, kuya. All right, so just short walking distance from the town plaza of Badok town uh, is uh, this one, this Juan Luna Shrine or Dambana Juan Luna. And uh, yeah, this shrine is actually dedicated to these uh, two guys, these brothers. In fact, Juan Luna, the one on the left, and the one on the right side, that's uh, Antonio, uh, Antonio Luna. So they were brothers and uh, this guy was a painter, okay, a gifted a painter. And in fact, the, the one who made the famous the, the award-winning Spoliarium where you can see that in the National Museum in Manila, Philippines yeah, his work of art again, it's called a Spoliarium that's Juan Luna he made that painting yeah, and his brother Antonio Luna and okay, so these guys are, were part of the history okay, um, they actually fought against the uh, Spaniards in order to achieve the Philippine independence so let's try to get in, in this um, shrine here for these uh, brothers, the Juan Luna Shrine. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Okay, let's get in. And you see flags are everywhere. The Philippine flag, the Philippine colors. Red, white, blue, and then the sun, the yellow. All right, so let's get in. Okay, oh, no, before we get in, let's try to have a cl closer look. Or what do you call this? The exterior view of this shrine. So again, it's just right here in uh, Badok town or in Badok, in Ilocos Norte. All right, so I just got it. Okay, by the way, let me just explain it to you. All right, so this uh, building here, this uh, shrine, is actually uh, two levels. The first level is for Juan Luna. Correct, right, Kuya? Juan Luna? Yeah. And the second level is for Antonio Luna, his brother. Yeah, but so before that, let's start with uh, the first level for Juan Luna's work of art. Okay, by the way, did I mention to you the Spoliarium? You know, because he made the, the Juan Luna. That's his work of art, the Spoliarium. This one right here, this is just a replica. This is just a sample. And you can see the actual um, work in National Museum of the Philippines, which is in Manila. So this one right here. Yeah, that's Spoliarium, guys. And this is, in fact, his clothes. So this is the setting in class, inside the cabin, and then those here, those right there. Okay, so let's now go upstairs. Let's go to uh, Antonio Luna's section. Yeah. So this one right here, look at this amazing staircase leading towards the second floor, second level. place is so quiet it's so calm here it's quaint yeah. okay so here <clears throat> here you'll find here in the second level you will find the works of uh, Anto uh, no, yeah, Antonio Luna
Okay, so we knew already that Juan Luna was a painter, so he is famous for producing or making that uh, Las Poliarium uh, painting. And here we are now again in the second level of Antonio Luna. And Antonio Luna was a writer, so he wrote everything. Um, yeah, he wrote everything uh, about the Philippine situation during the Spanish colonization, a uh, real situation, so the world would know. You know? So that's his contribution to the to the Philippines. So yeah, thanks again to these guys, to these brothers, Antonio Luna and Juan Luna. Okay, so that was a bit of a history we have here in this town of Batok, Ilocos Norte. Yeah, you know sometimes we when we do the off the beaten track travels. When I do that, when I do that uh, off the beaten track travels, I also see to it, you know, like part of the history I want to learn, I want to experience that one. And that's, this is actually one of the best samples. Yeah. All right, so uh, until uh, next time, what do you call this, uh, Juan Luna Shrine? Let's hit the road again, baby. Okay, before heading to Curimao, Let's appreciate first this old church, the Basilica Minora del San Juan Bautista, right here in Badoc, in Locos Norte. Look at this church. You know, old structure, old buildings, like this picturesque uh, colonial type of church, makes me relax. In fact, yeah. Okay, let's now uh, go to Curimao. All right, so as I mentioned, I'm heading towards Curimao. And I just followed the, the back roads here in in in, in Bado, yeah? Yeah, I, I, I want to use the back road only. I don't want to hit the highway because, you know, it's boring. You know, because if, if you go, if you, if, if you go take back roads, it's interesting. A lot of uh, interesting uh, places and uh, things to see. As well as, you know, new adventures and whatnot. And scenic route, to, to be exact. But, you know, look at this. <laughs> How can you continue? Yeah, because this is actually the, the established route as per the Google Maps But there's a river you have to cross And that's exactly uh, how Google Maps is pointing at right now You know, towards uh, Kurimao, just hitting the back road <laughs> It's literally back road guys Okay, so the highway is just right there, yeah, kilometers away from here So yeah, it's not a good idea to take this one I think because there's no bridge yeah, well, my motorcycle is just a small one, so it can't, you know, take that shallow river. I, by the way, it's shallow, but uh, yeah, <laughs> there's no way to cross a river with this motorcycle. So I think we really need to, we have to hit back the highway. All right, okay. Anyway, all right, there's a tractor here coming towards me. Yeah. The driver of the tractor is a boy. Wow. <laughs> Guided by his father, probably, yeah. I'm now back here in Kurimao, and just across this bay of Kurimao, there's actually these ruins, the church ruins here. Yeah, pretty amazing sight. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's get in. I think they I think they just restored this one because look at this uh, these are actually new concrete uh, fillings Wow this must be a massive uh, church used to be good thing the local government of Korimao they preserve this it's actually a heritage uh, heritage one Okay, all right, let's go to Pauai now. All right, so we are now here in the town of Pauai, and right behind me is the famous, the one of the Baroque churches of the Philippines, this one right here. Okay, so more into that one later, so just explore the part of the town here. All right, so yeah, lots of uh, local kids, uh, they are practicing some sorts of, uh, I don't know, what, what do you call this? Welcome to Ilocos Norte. So right behind me is one of the Baroque churches in the Philippines and it's called 
Pawai Church, well, locally known as Pawai Church, but in fact, its official name is San Agustin Church, which is in fact the same, uh, it shares the same name of another Baroque churches in the Philippines, which is in San Agustin Church in Manila, right inside Intramuros. And uh, yeah, so again, this is, pa we are in the town of Pawai, and it's a very grandeur, picturesque uh, Baroque church here in the town of Pawai. Look at that amazing beauty. All right, so let's get closer to this Hawaii church, which is actually one of the most, as I mentioned a while ago, one of the most and well-preserved Spanish colonial architecture type of church here in the town of Hawaii in Ilocos Norte. Lots of tourists are actually like these people, like these families are uh, taking their uh, foot opportunity here. And why not? Yeah. And uh, guys, one of the most important facts here about this church is it's in fact recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is also designated as a national cultural treasure by the Philippine government because of this amazing beauty. Look at this. Isn't it amazing? Wow. Yeah. And the construction of this church uh, began in the year 1694 and was completed in 1710. That was a long time ago. Yeah. And well, if you take a look, okay, the church architecture is uh, characterized by its uh, massive uh, buttress that support the exterior walls, which is actually a prominent feature of our earthquake resistant design during that uh, era. Yeah. And look at the... Uh... <laughs> actually, lots of people behind me. <laughs> All right. And also today, uh, well, Pawai Church is not only a religious site, but rather it's also a very famous tourist attraction here in this province of uh, Ilocos Norte because of its uh, unique uh, architectural style, historical importance as well, and uh, yeah, scenic location. So th those are the factors that draw visitors from all parts of the Philippines and even uh, international tourists. Yeah. And also another thing, Hawaii Church stands as a testament to the Philippines' colonial past, architectural excellence and cultural heritage making it a must-visit destination of history and uh, architecture enthusiasts alike. Yeah, pretty cool, right? So, all right, so let's get inside. And also this town plaza is perfect for hangout amongst locals like these kids around. I think there are students here or locals from here, for obviously. Yes, and uh, yeah, because uh, yeah, it's a lazy Saturday afternoon right now. And uh, hello, yeah, like this, friendly locals here. Are you from here? Are you, are you, are you locals? Okay, from Hawaii? Oh, amazing. Okay, cool. Do you have the name of your group or what? No? Just our local friends, huh? Just uh, hanging out here. Okay. J yeah, just one second. Let me just uh, go get a picture of them. Huh? Okay. All right, so here, like this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, yeah, they are yeah, Filipinos um, wearing the trad traditional costumes, national costume of the Philippines. Do you have the name of your group? Are you from a certain school? 
Makiling production. Makiling production. Ah, okay, so it's like a folk dance. Ah, okay. <laughs> nice job, ah. Huh? Okay. So, uh, all right. Do you have any some uh, sort of uh, presentation? Meron ba kayong presentation? Yeah. Yes. Okay, like what for example? Ano le metangere for your school? Yeah. Ah, okay. So yeah, guys, they are they have this kind of a presentation part of the school project. Uh, what uh, level? Grade nine. Grade nine. Okay, yeah, grade nine. Yeah, because here in the Philippines, we are also doing. We have now a K to 12 type of other educational system here in this country. So yeah, grade nine. Yeah, good luck, huh? All right. <laughs> Yeah, that, right here, you know, their backdrop is this, uh, the famous UNESCO World Heritage of Pauai Church. Amazing. Uh, yes, I have it here. All right, I'm here with this, again, with the students, and uh, yeah, they're having fun. Se Sunday afternoon. Okay, Isa Isa, what's your name? Bilis, my Bilisan. Kali. Okay. Kaila. All right. Just Yana. Kim and uh, uh, Christos Tomo Ibarra. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, have fun, guys. We're famous. So jolly, uh, jolly, yeah, we're famous. jolly people. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, bye. 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 See you on YouTube. Bagi kita uh, next week lalabas yun. Okay. Yeah. Okay, another uh, group of uh, young kids here Mas in Mas Hawaii. Mas yeah. Yeah. Yay. Mas All right. <laughs> <laughs> they are they are more they are actually they are more relaxed than those kids behind us and uh, well, yes as i mentioned they have a school that's for their school presentation yeah and then uh, yeah uh, what level are you in school grade 9 grade 9 they are also grade 9 oh my god really <laughs> but you guys you guys you look mature than them yeah. okay yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay 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 but you you guys live here right Okay, perfect, yeah. Local kids here in Pauai, friendly, very warm, you know, like the rest of the Philippines. And handsome too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, after here, I'm planning to go to Sanju. Very close from here, right? Malapit lang. No? Tagadon ka. Ah, Tagadon kayo? Okay. Um, do you know Kulili? Yes. Kulili Point? Oh, yeah. Kulili Point? That's what I'm actually uh, heading to right now. Yeah, don't know about that. I'm going to go to Okay, it's 4.30 in the afternoon now, and I think it's time to head to the to, to the coast, to the sand dunes, right? I think it's just a few kilometers away from here based on the Google Maps. And uh, right, so it's time to say goodbye to these kids. Bye! Bye, Bye kids! See you in YouTube next week. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bilisan, yo, uh, your name, the Bilisan. LJ, my name. Hans. DJ. Kaylee. Akala ko si Ano, akala ko si... Tawag nito si Ivana. Hahaha! 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 I'm Charisse. Huh? I'm Charisse. Okay. I'm Theo! Yay! Bye! Bye guys, bye-bye!